Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. We are coming up on the end, folks. We're getting real close. Moon. <laughs> that amuses me, just moon. Okay. Please insert disc four. <laughs> Called it. Okay, let me just virtually insert disc four. I'm kidding, I'm actually just letting the PlayStation load it. Longest running joke on this channel? Probably. Okay, so we just came through that portal. I've got to talk to people. Uh, hello, yes. Great. Heal me. Yeah, for for real. <laughs> okay, we have an ailment removal there, which we don't have any ailments, so I'm all good. Downstairs, dare I hope there's an item shop? We do need to walk through that mirror eventually. What do you have to say? A female's missing. Please look for her. Until we find her, this place is closed. Okay. If it's closed, then shouldn't you be kicking me out, not keeping me in? Whatever. Uh, no. We don't need to get drunk before the final battle, thank you. Dran the Rich, indeed, he says. Oh. If it's Bale 20 years ago, is Lavitz around here somewhere as a child? There's a weapon shop here too. Oh, sweet. Okay, what can we get? Hello. Look at all of this becomes powerful inversely to HP. What does that mean? Anyway, these have no restrictions, so let's just... And that one I'll figure out since I don't really use Hashel, like, at all. Okay, I've already got the red DG armor and Jade. Okay, let's make Kongol more of a tank, sure. Here you go, Hashel. Already got silver, already got the dark. I already have something better than the blue. Magical ring raises magic power. Spiritual ring raises magic defense, physical and magic. Okay, so let's see. This would make darts atta magic attack 70. This would make it 80. So the magical ring is a little better for magic attack. It's more specialized as the attack badge does both. The guard badge does both defenses. The Giganto Ring does both physicals. Uh, ooh. My goodness. It would slow down Kongol quite a lot. I like the Bandit Ring on him. Also, you know what? Why don't I just take a second to sort all my stuff here? Let's have a look-see. Okay, you know what? I have plenty of Giganto rings to go around. And I've even got attack badges. Night shield. Power wrist. Physical ring. The spirit rings recover SP each turn. Okay. So I could put, like, a Giganto ring on Miranda. But what I didn't see was this right here. And Meru? Uh, yeah, I'll make her even stronger magic. Sure. Okay. Well, that was rather productive. <laughs> My goodness. And is this an item shop? It is. Sweet. 
Okay, let's see what we can get. First of all, oops, did I have, um, yeah, this, I, I hate those things. Get out of here, They're cluttering up my inventory. Magic six stone, pandemonium. I'm probably never gonna use it again, but I'm also not desperate for money. Power up and speed up are still very good, yes, okay. Got magic, I need more purifiers. And another angel's prayer. And some healing items. Okay. One more of those. And one more of those. Two more of those. And I don't really have room for healing items now. That's unfortunate. Um, I could... Come on, there we go. I could sell, like... A flash haul and a downburst and all of these things I guess but I kind of want to have these available for like the final fights when I'm just like chucking items with Meru <laughs> I'm like go 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 um, so you know what I think I uh, definitely want to keep my MP restoring items. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and keep one each. Make a little room. These come in the most handy. Or handy the most often, I should say. So let's do that. That is not what a piano sounds like. Is that supposed to be a harpsichord? Because it just sounds like a music box to me. Alright, so... Now that we're as prepared as it gets... Well, that's not true. As prepared as I'm going to get. Let's see if we can push through to the end of the game. I know there's still a handful of boss battles. So no guarantees. But uh, definitely within the next two or three episodes, we'll be reaching the end. I know it's not what it looks like, but where is it? That, that's a hard question, really. Behind the wall. The labyrinth of the moon is not refusing us. Yes, thank you, Hashel. That was actually much more clear. Yeah, Minintos. I've only seen, what, one of those? This entire game? Would have been cool to have a Minintos in my party. Have all of the surviving humanoid races represented. I guess that's not a little ladder that I can climb down. Okay. Well, let's see. The Psyche's creating this world. This time it's whose heart, whose intention. Is it you or you or maybe me? Hmm. You don't see people who you shouldn't see. You see people you have to see. Interesting. Oh, this is why I poke around on the edges. So you find stuff like that. Even when I know there's no more stardust to be found for the rest of the game, I still like to look. Of course. Of course. Hilariously. Throw away one of those healing rings I just bought. They're cheap. Spectral Flash. That's another one I would have just sold. Oh well. That's alright. 
Oh. That looks like the way out. And I want to explore first. Perhaps I should say finish exploring. I do believe I have finished exploring, but hey, there's encounters here, so. Let's get through one of these. Ah, yes. Shaggy unicorn. Yeah, I've pretty well mastered the timing on Blazing Dynamo now. Feels pretty good. And of course, Bone Crush. I figured that one out long ago. I may have peeked ahead just a little bit. I was looking at a list of just to see how many bosses were remaining. And while I may have gotten one or two very minor spoilers for myself, um, I did see that the final boss is recommended to be like level 40. So we'll see how that goes. Yep. suppose, but we could just jump in. Might not end well, but we could do it. Harsh. This is... Am I supposed to fight her? Really? Oh no, this is gonna be like Miranda's was. Okay. So I just need to go kick the darkness out of her. Sure. Hmm, I messed up that timing. One hit. 
188. I don't think I'm in very much danger here. got these. again. Sure. Yeah, I just gotta punch this random malevolent god out of you first. How silly. else it's some free addition experience. Okay, so it seems like that does all but one. Leaves me with one HP. But that's fine because this fight's almost over. She shouldn't be able to do that more than once again, if that. Makes me feel kind of bad for throwing away that one healing fog, though, let me tell you. Ooh, do I awaken the mind's eye and try and punch the war god out of her? Some more. Or do I ask for forgiveness? I feel like this is more in the, in the vein of what this game's all about, so... more to be safe. Okay. Now I'll go in for a hit. Forgive me while I punch you some more.
I feel like I'm getting nowhere fast. Maybe next time I just need to try that mind's eye thing. Let's see. Okay, so I really did have to just keep punching her. That's a little obtuse, <laughs> considering some of the other themes of this game, but uh, okay. I guess Hashel just is straight up like shonen style cool guy. And, and he gets a character level. Okay. I wouldn't say the time was a waste, um, but yeah, we do need to keep moving, of course. And got my party forcibly reset once again. Thank you very much, Sony. I guess I can say Sony because this game was by Sony Studios, I think, Japan, if I remember right. Anyway. go. lost my touch all of a sudden. That's alright though. Hey, a level for Meru. Very nice. Alright. Uh, oh, okay. But where am I supposed to go? I didn't see any other exits. At least the fights here are non-threatening. Wonder if I should go back and buy more healing fogs. Or if I just press on and hope there's another item shop up ahead. Can I go this way? No. Can I go this way? No. 
I can only go back this way. Perhaps I am compelled to go back? I mean, that would be convenient since I did want to go back to the item shop, sell a couple things, and pick up some more healing fogs. That would work out quite nicely. Man. I'd like to say I'm struggling with my additions tonight, but I always do. level up on that one randomly well not randomly but unexpectedly oh it just dawned on me yes of course we need to go back there was that NPC that was blocking the door saying you can't go through here because there's someone missing well, we tracked her down, and now she's... I guess she was the war god that we killed? Or something? Anyway, I'm gonna assume... Yeah, that path is open now. Whoa there, Dart. Quit sliding around. Okay. Let's... Sell off a couple of my extra things. In particular... Another one of these I can get rid of. And, uh. Well, shoot. I now have unique elements and I want to keep one of each. So. Just two more healing fogs for me. And of course. stay at the inn, replenish the old HP, good old save -a here, in the backup slot this time. And we press on. Perhaps it was a bit naive of me to think we'd be finishing the game tonight. <laughs> that uh, Claire bit by itself took like 20 minutes. Okay, well, <clears throat> we found another swirly vortex to jump into. Let's go. I reckon this will be Kongol's fight, since they were just talking about the home of the Giganto. Looks like it. Meru don't gotta worry about this stuff. She can just literally fly. So it's not an illusion. It is reality. But apparently, you don't have to follow the laws of physics. 
if we're just gonna make like Luke and Skywalk here. Oh, didn't see that counter in time. Yes. Huh, I don't know how I messed that one up either, goodness. Speaking of Luke Skywalker, I recently heard an interesting little factoid that um, originally George Lucas wanted to name him Luke Starkiller. I don't remember the whole story of why they decided against that, but uh, Star Wars would have had a very different vibe if it had been Luke Starkiller growing up on Tatooine with his aunt and uncle. How obtuse. Boy, I really got to put in some practice on that uh, Cat's Cradle edition. Yeah, there's a level for Miranda. Okay, looks like I can go either of those directions. Oh, dead end down there. Let's try this one first. No real reason. Just picked one. I seem to have picked incorrectly. say if we ever do get a full-on remaster or remake of this game and not just this upscale I'd really like the ability to turn off random encounters because my gosh some of these just get tedious hey a level for Kongle Especially these upper high levels where it really doesn't seem to matter so much. Like why would I want to fight anything right now when I could just rush through and get to the end of the segment? I think there's, there's no reason to be getting in battles at the moment. I guess to work on Meru's cat's cradle, but it's not necessary because in fights where it really matters, I'm just going to have her slinging magic anyway. Man, the box is a little harder to see against this background. <laughs> I say as I proceed to nail a cat's cradle almost perfectly. Kongols I've done so many times I just kind of know the timing of it by heart. I don't really have to look at the screen so much anymore. Darts I still gotta watch, and Meru's I have to watch like a hawk and remember which one is the uh, quick two succession. And if that gets countered, there's no way I can react in time with my personal reaction speed. Uh, she's just gonna get counter hit. <laughs> gonna jump down a hole now in the sky does that seem smart at all to anyone also this game sure likes to split off dart and rose 
as a pair quite often. think some sort of feeling that exists in our heart materializes itself. Okay. Makes sense now that I read it aloud. I would hope so. Just because she doesn't like you doesn't mean she doesn't care about someone else. things you know you could have just had horses I'll give you one guess. Albert's leading the party. Okay. We'll just walk into this statue's ear. Am I allowed to change out Albert? No, I'm forced to have Albert. There we go. Oh, that bothers me. Hopefully this section won't be too long. I don't like Albert's additions. So fun fact, if you don't get Kongol's Dragoon Stone early on in the game, or Dragoon Spirit, I think you get it here. Which then, good luck training his additions.
<laughs> yes, indeed. Kongol overcomes brother with bone crush. I have prepared for this. 160, who do you think you are? Am I? One sixty. Well, that was my bad. I missed the timing a little. It's still one sixty. Okay, what is going on with my addition timing? It's definitely a me thing. Nothing is different here. Was that a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reference? Did I just become a pillar man? Is no. no, I did not. Almost leveled up. Look how close that was. It's like 340 away, roughly. I'm starting to question that, Albert, because so far what the moon has been showing us has been like helping us overcome our pasts, so... Kongol would have become a dragoon right there if he wasn't already. However, I did get a nice axe for him, so perhaps we shall equip it. Let's see what the stats are like. Yeah, so if he doesn't Hulk smash them, he might just Hulk smash them instead. Okay. The stuns are nice, but instant kill is even better. <laughs> High armor enemies just keep chopping. Is there stardust in here? I, I kid, I know there's no stardust anymore. But what there is, is a chest. And inside the chest is... Don't I already have that? Pretty sure I do. Yeah, 
Golden DG armor. Should be the same thing, but let's double check. It's like not even listed because I'm already wearing it. Yeah, okay. Well, there's nowhere else to go down here, so I suppose we have to head back. Okay, it's going to make us walk around enough to get into a random battle, I'm sure. Oh, or not. How fortunate. I did not want to do a random battle. Shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch, though, because now i got to walk back through here partway. And this place spewed out several battles at me last time. But this time I think maybe I'm catching a break. Very cool. Well, I didn't use any items. So I don't need to restock. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, not only that, but like, there's an inn here, so we can rest comfortably. And also, Dart and Rose are likely to get sent back here. If that's what happened to us, that'll probably also happen to them. You didn't lose everybody because the dragon attacked you, silly boy. Because you jumped different directions. Oh, are we going to Caterpillar party? We are. Oh, baby dragons. Okay, they're kind of ugly cute. right about that here we go let's go 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 no random encounters please i don't have a full party i don't want to deal with such a thing can't carry any more items okay um wait, did i just yeah i went into the right place okay discard uh, HP, MP, just purifiers. Holy, I don't really want to get rid of any of them, but... Okay, let's keep one of each. Night Raid, alright, that'll be Meru's item to use later. in some battles, I see. What are these little things, huh? Alright, 
I guess I'm learning Rose's addition on the fly. Or relearning. Sorrow of Dragon? What the? Did it just blind me or something? I can't even tell what status effect that is. Dispirited. Okay, that's fine. I don't particularly care about SP right now. At least not for Dart. For Rose, yes. Yeah. Of course, I can't figure out Rose's addition to save my life here. What was that? I felt like I timed that one correctly. Obviously, I did not. Oh, those counterattacks, I despise them. I'm not sure how I lost my timing there, but I don't deny that I just choked on the home stretch. Goodness gracious. I don't mind fighting one of those things, but three at once. That was an oof. Especially with only a two-person party, one of whom I'm not used to using. Okay, that's what I thought. This path is going to come over here and let me get this. Burning wave. All right, another attack spell, or attack item, attack spell item, something, whatever. You know, I wonder if I should just try escaping from the battle. Maybe I can um, just bounce. That's three of them again. Let's go. Please? Thank you. Really don't want to fight those. They're irritants. No thank you. Okay. Let's be at least a little bit smart here. We'll use that. Rose, I'm afraid this is your fight.
think he does. At least I get two characters for this. Maybe? Thirteen fifty. Excuse me, sir. Calm down. Oh, look at that. Dart does zero damage. Cute. As does Rose. That's not good. Okay, um, well. You can do that. concerned that I was dealing zero damage. Are you gonna miss Rose again? Zero damage to Rose, that's good. Let's try once more. Zero. For some reason, I can't go Dragoon. I feel like I just have to wait it out and stay alive? I can't be right. That doesn't do any damage. Can't change targets. Hmm. What the heck? Am I just too slow on that third hit? I guess. I feel like I might have a chance if I was allowed to go Dragoon form, but I'm not. Is there like a hidden damage meter? HP counter, whatever. I mean, he's doing absolutely nothing to Rose. That's good, at least. Oops. In for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. Even if uh, the addition does nothing, <laughs> I want to try and get it right. Okay. 
Rose, quit holding out. I'm just gonna guard. Apologies, by the way, that this episode is running long. We're over an hour now. getting out of here if we don't know. So tell me. Oh, you misspelled weak. What are you doing? Localization team, come on. At such a critical moment. Wait for his laser attack, I guess. was not a laser. Here, let me poke you in the face. Will you laser me now? a good chunk of damage. Okay, I don't think Rose would be doing her little victory pose after having to kill her vassal dragon, but whatever. A level for Rose, that's nice. And Dart's very close to leveling now too. Michael had lost his mind. Yeah. Don't say it like that, Dart. Stop looking at the past. It was 10 seconds ago, you jerk. At least say, I know it was hard, but it was the right thing to do. That wasn't Michael anymore. His mind was gone, and you put him to rest. Say it that way. I have just a scrap of sympathy. You narrow-minded 90s anime jock. I love Dart, don't get me wrong. He's just a blockhead. Ha! 
Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Anger of Dragon. For zero damage. Yes. Dart. Look, I'm only doing this because I'm pretty sure Dart's going to level up after this fight. Uh-oh, got countered. Yes. Dart! What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. There we go. And it wasn't enough to kill. Fantastic. Yes, got through the counter that time. Ooh. gonna feel real silly if this doesn't level up dart oh yeah just enough let's go okay well we're gonna round things off here as soon as I get back to the inn and I'm sure there will be some dialogue um, this is a new place or have I Okay, yeah, there we go. Yep, we're back. Here we are. And they had a pleasant chit chat to be continued. Yeah, it seems like Dole either changed or it's not Dole but somebody posing as him. But if Dole's Albert's uncle, then you would think that Albert would recognize somebody who wasn't the real person. So I don't know. Okay. So, switch rows. Meru, switch Hashel. Congo. Let's go heal up while I do my closing spiel. So, a little bit long today, but hey, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as it helps the video get seen and the channel to keep on growing. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. I upload episodes of Legend of Dragoon weekly, and I also do Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince uh, on weekends. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, go ahead and subscribe and make sure to ring the bell for notifications of when I upload a new video. Other than that, just as soon as I can get through this heal and save, that's going to do it. Once again, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. I'm not going to say it until the save is complete. Okay. Bye.